So I started accessing the beacon from mid-January this year. Um, I was accessing the groups, one-to-one -one support, and then I was coming to Smart as well on the side. My problem was with alcohol. I was drinking way too much, drinking every day. And when I started coming here, I didn't want to stop drinking, I just wanted to reduce, but it quickly became apparent that the best thing for me to do was to stop drinking. And in April I did an ambulatory detox, and then next week will be five months that I've not drunk for. For me, it's, there's quite a lot involved in that, in that word. I think the start of it, it's actively wanting to make a change um, and then finding what works for you. So, you know, there are other kind of groups you can go to, but for me, coming to Smart and coming to the Beacon was the right thing for me. And then it's just about working with what you're given. So, you know, people can tell you the tools to use and then it's up to you to interpret how you're going to use that. And then obviously it's, it's a journey of emotions. Uh, I'm sure there's people here will tell you that I cried solidly for about three months. <laughs> And I probably owe a lot of tissues to the beacon, but it's really rewarding as well. And obviously, like to see where I, where I started and where I've come, it's it's quite amazing. So for me, I think the main one that I still use a lot now is living a balanced life. You know, like when you're in addiction, it takes up so much of your life that when you stop, it, it's quite a big gap to fill. Um, and then obviously working, so working full time. And when I used to work full time before, work was majority of my life I didn't really balance it with anything else but now I've got all these little different parts of my life so I work full-time I come here and help support me smart I go to the gym a lot I've got a, a like a, a nice social life I don't go out every weekend but I've got a nice active social life and for me that's one of the biggest things that I've took away from it I suppose last month that's probably my, my biggest one so far it was well my first weekend away obviously without drinking my birthday, my partner's birthday. <laughs> so all these events that, you know, you kind of associate a drink with, even if you just have one, you know, you'll associate that relaxing, it's something to be celebrating and enjoying. For me, that was a challenge. When it was my birthday, it was on a Thursday and Smart Runs on a Wednesday and a Friday. Um, but it was cancelled Wednesday that week, so I knew I had to swap my day from work and come in on the Friday just to get through it. And then just, just you know, understanding that the time will pass, you know, it'll just, it's a few hours, like my birthday's a few hours, and then that time will go, just don't stress about it, and just manage it, manage it that way. It's played quite a big part. When, when I started coming here, uh, my key work, if you ever spoke to her, she'll, she would tell you that I didn't want to do any groups. I wanted to do it by myself. I didn't want to do anything to socialise with other people. And I think part of that is, it's the shame of it. Like, you don't want to sit there and say, oh, you know, my name's so-and-so, and this is my problem, and this is where I'm at. You, you don't want to do that, but actually, Going to groups is one, one of the best things I did. And it's nice to go and people have seen me from the start and they're still around now and they've seen my journey. And that's really nice to share. And then vice versa, I've seen new people come in and I'm watching them grow and it's just so nice to see. And you know, you'll have your ups and downs and the people, like, you know, you might have a relapse or a lapse, but everyone's still there to support each other and, you know, get through it. And there's no judgment either. So like I said, the, the balanced life style thing is the biggest one for me definitely and you know you can take away what you're learning smart you can take that away and just mention it in everyday life to some some other people so like my family my friends people I work with I can just say what I've learned and I'll just say a sentence that I know will impact them and their way of thinking um, and help them make a decision if you know they're struggling and also coping with urges identifying triggers so you know if, if I come across a situation such as going away on my birthday I'm very aware now that that is potentially, you know, going to trigger me. So how am I going to handle that and what can I, you know, what can I use that I've learned from that? And obviously just talking about it with a group, knowing that, you know, to someone else that might seem really minor, a birthday might seem really minor to an, an outside person, but when you're in recovery, that's a big event, it's a big step, especially when you're so used to associating it with what you've given up now. And everyone's been there and, you know, you don't feel like an idiot for <laughs> crying or getting upset or stressed about it. <laughs> it's a hard journey, it's a lot of work, but it's so rewarding as well. And, you know, you'll go through all the ups, all the downs, all the emotions, you'll find emotions that you never knew you had inside you. And, you know, you're going to probably approach things from the past that are going to be hard to, to deal with but the support's there if you want it and I suppose the biggest piece of advice I can give is do it for yourself you know people can say oh you need to do this or I'm going to do it for my kids or I'm going to do it for xyz but you've got to do it for yourself and then that'll give you all the motivation that you need then